who was a member of the Bottom Scratchers. Um, uh, the guy is incredible. Um, there aren't many guys I've ever met like him. He's a, a man's man, a gentleman's gentleman, and a warrior's warrior. And this plaque is very impressive because it nails what I think is what this is all about, what you see behind me. And that is, it's the tourmaline culture, and it's the traits and the values that you guys are lucky enough to have grown up with and are now trying to pass on through this memorial. So um, there is an incredible sense of history here. And for those of you who have already spoken, I would urge you to please put down in writing or record on videos or something all these stories that you have, because they are incredibly important to the generations coming up. Uh, and the last thing I'd like to say for those uh, who are experienced project managers, um, and who want to look for another challenge, um, I think it'd be great if you guys could do another first to make this a wetsuit optional surfing park. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys got that. Everybody that turned 60 has to surf in a pair of Speedos for a day. <laughs> I got that. Next honoree is Doc Blankenship. Blanket, Joan, you want to come up? Joan's going to pass. The Blankenship family. Uh, Doc was also very influential along with all the other honorees mentioned here as far as coming down and really being a big part of surfing in Pacific Beach and Tourmaline. Next honoree is Ralph Dawson. Is Ralph here? No, same, same thing as well. I've met Ralph, and Ralph was uh, Ralph and Joe Gann. Is Joe Gann here, the next honoree? Both of those men were part of the original 14 um, honorees for the Pacific Beach Surf Club as well for their influence in uh, surfing here for a long time. Captain Dan O'Connell, uh, Steve, are you here? Dan ah, there he is. Good man, Steve. Ready. Steve O'Connell, owner of Claremont Surf Shop. I just want to thank everybody for honoring my dad. He was a big part of the tourmaline tailgaters. I know they took him in when we moved back from Hawaii. Uh, he did most of his surfing in Hawaii back in the 60s and uh, early 70s. And I know when he got here, uh, he was kind of looking for an outlet to uh, express himself. And this was really a good spot for him. Um, and it was great hearing Haji tell about Grimace Rock. I never knew the story behind it. My dad always talked about Grimace Rock, but I never knew the story. But anyway, thanks again, and uh, it was an honor. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. And the thing I remember about uh, Captain Dan is uh, even as he got on, towards the end, he always remembered my name as he, he had an incredible memory. Remembered a lot of names. Next is uh, Billy Goldie Goldsmith. Is Terry here? All right, Terry. I want to thank you all for coming out today. Uh, you know, my dad was a man of ex very few words, so he probably wouldn't say too much, but um, he loved this place. He, uh, I, I recognize a lot of you from being here. He recently passed away in February. We had a really beautiful memorial for him in early March, and it was spectacular. And he would just really appreciate this honor, and, and thank you for showing up. And I know he's here, Black Mac McClendon. Come on out, Mac. I uh, started surfing when I joined the Panoray Club, a diving club over the Hoya Cove, right tile boards. And then uh, I gradually drifted south. They ran us out of La Jolla Cove. We went to the Casa and the Winnings. And, and uh, I never built any surfboards to 
cell, and I never entered a certain contest or anything like that, but I love to serve the people that are around here. And so, uh, this has been a place that draws me. And, uh, I don't have much to say. Thank you. Thank you, Mac. And here's another tidbit about Black Mac. He makes great ukuleles even at this age. Great ukuleles. Oh, he's only uh, 81, he said. Next is uh, Holly Jones. I know the family of Holly Jones is here. Well, I'm Callie Jones' daughter, and I'm here representing my mom, who's over in the corner there, and uh, my two sisters and daddy's six grandchildren. Um, daddy started surfing in the late 50s. Uh, the great no wetsuits, of course, and uh, great big heavy boards, and everybody had surfer knots on our knees and on the tops of our feet. Um, and But his last board was a real light, responsive, beautiful yellow board that was designed and created and signed by you guys here at Tremoline Canyon. Uh, it was uh, his most prized possession. Um, Tremoline was the center of his universe. He just loved coming down here and loved being with you guys. He loved the mix of people. Um, Tremoline has such a special culture uh, I know a few people have mentioned that um, it's supportive and it's inclusive and it's welcoming and I think uh, more than anything else that's what makes this place unique. Um, when it was time to say aloha to dad, the response from the community here was uh, amazing and supportive and inspiring. Uh, we had a wonderful paddle out here supported by uh, Ron St. John and John Pruitt and Glenn and, and all you guys, and it meant a terrific amount to, uh, to Daddy and his family. Um, now, um, thanks to the committee here, uh, we all have something in addition to knowing that our loved ones are out there rolling around with those of us who are still surfing. Uh, we have this fabulous monument to point to and to remember. Thanks, Tourmaline. Well said. This next honoree is the one I know probably the best. When it came time to notify all the uh, older honorees, there was no doubt in my mind who I would call. I called him, and of course he got most of them out for me. But what I remember most about Ron St. John is his truck parked in the number one position right there. Every morning for over a decade, he had free fruit, pastries if you wanted it, the tides, the wind direction, the water temperature. He was an original, truly original tailgater. Ron St. John. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, thank you, tailgaters, for this. This is awesome, absolutely awesome. I'm. Uh, I can't tell you how honored I am. And the only reason I'm standing up here today is because of a cup of coffee. <laughs> 1978. I was surfing out here with Skeeter and some of the other guys. And when I came in, he called me over, offered me a cup of coffee. From that time on, I've met some of the most incredible human beings in my life, right down here. And that Aloha spirit was passed on to me, and I hope to pass it on to my grandchildren and their children and everyone else here. This is truly an Aloha place, and I thank you all very much. Thank you.